again. This is the start of episode 10. Hope you all had a good weekend and a good week if you were at Stock Plant. Um, it was cracking weather for it. Couldn't have been any better. It was a wee bit chilly on the Saturday right enough, but still it was better than it raining. At least it was dry and it was sunny. Um, so that made it all, all much better. Um, so yeah, it's Monday morning. First day back at work. After being off for a week. Um, so I'm going to go and pick up Scott. And we're going to head to Torwood and meet the rest of the guys there. And see what chaos lies ahead. Um, been off for a week. So I don't know what's been going on. Um, so we'll see what's happening when we get there. box of the street lights also has to get put in as well this week. Um, the energy assets they're coming on Wednesday to actually tie all of that in. Um, so nice and gently not bust that duct for some reason that's underneath the grass um, and try not pull that curb up either it's all been broken out around about the curb but just in case not why we're causing any more issues
gently. Holes on this road as well. I'll need to watch them are digging round. So that's about half the tar lifted. Um, I'm just going to scrape up this tight one now. This will all go back to the yard. Um, you can use this for other jobs. Because there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And there's no point in wasting it, so. I'll dig all this out. Daniel's away up to get the wee dumper just now. We've only got a wee one ton dumper available, so loading it with a 14 tonner is a bit overkill, but it saves me tracking back and forward and putting the weight and everything on the tracks. So, we'll get this scraped out and we'll take it just a couple of hundred yards behind me. Um, and then groundwork so they can come in and pick it up and take it away to the yard. We should be back later on for another load of the tar. They were in just as I was having my tea there. Um, didn't even notice they were in, so too quick. They're in and out in the five minutes. Takes them to load up, so nice and quick. So we'll scrape this up. And here comes Daniel now with the, the dumper, so we'll get that loaded in. a wee bit overkill. Um, but it saves me tracking back and forward. carriages for the diggers on the cheap so the less tracking you do the better.
It's Tuesday morning, and um, we're back at Torwood today. Um, we're just continuing digging this road out. Um, if this will spin round. So we got about halfway yesterday, so the tar, tar finish is about there. The hardcore finish is about there. And then we've obviously filled this bit up with subsoil. Um, so we've got the other half to do. Groundworks will be in today at some point to pick up the rest of the the tar that we've lifted and we've got a big pile of type one there that we're taking back to the yard. So they'll be in today to get that. So it's us done as much as we can just now. Until groundwork shows up. We've got these slabs to move. So We'll go up and grab one of the boys. So just now we are digging a, a track for the ducting. Um, so this will be for the street lighting control box, which is going where that yellow square is, if you can see that. In here, somewhere. Um, so this is for the mains power. Uh, and it's just getting um, piggybacked onto the cable that's away over there. Um, so once we've got this track dug, we need to dig a 2 metre by 2 metre square um, just for the guys doing the jointing on the cable just makes it a lot easier for them getting in and about it um, So we'll dig this, it needs to be a minimum of 750 deep and we'll need to put a 4 inch duct in a wee bit of sand on top, some electrical tape and then we've got a concrete pad to put in for the box to sit on. And then we need to tie the purple duct in that's over there. It needs to come into the box. And then we've got another purple duct from the other road that needs to get dug across as well. So we need to do all that by Thursday for the guys coming to connect it all together. We'll just keep this cable slightly deeper just so that our ducts for the street lights can come over the top of it without being in the road and looking untidy. Um, so we'll probably put this in at 750, 800 and then our ducts for the street lights will go in at 600 below the finished ground level.
Wednesday morning. Um, we're going to get some of the street lighting ducted in today. Uh, we'll concrete the base for the, the control box and we'll put some pads in for the rest of the lamp posts that we need to put in. But first, just let the wa machine warm up uh, and I'm just going to jump out and give it a grease up. That's the machine all greased up. Just gonna stick my wee bucket on now and we'll go and get the we'll go and dig the tracks for this stuff.
soil a wee level off there and then we'll get some drone pictures this is a path to come through here go to where the ducts are and then kind of just curve make a wee shape of it so we'll get a picture and we'll overmark it on a drone photo just so we know how where we're going with it um, Probably be tomorrow's job, get all that marked out, make sure these heights are right to start with. Finish spreading this soil just down to the end of the road. He moved them bags as well there in the road. Tom Cruise, aka Dean. It's like Tom Cruise slash Michael Jackson with the white shoes on. Thursday morning, um, we went to Torwood nice and early this morning um, to make sure we were ready for energy assets coming to do the connection for our street lighting. Um, so we got there, got all the box bolted in and stuff. Um, and the guys came out and says that we didn't have the right duct in. So we've got a four inch duct from the box to where it's getting connected but it turns out that there should have been a 50mm duct inside the 4 inch duct and we hadn't done that so the guys have went done our job first until we get this 50mm duct in so I'm just heading back to the yard just now to get a bit of the 50mm duct luckily we had some of that in the yard um, we'll try and put that up hopefully it'll go in Maybe a bit of a nightmare because the stuff's rigid um, and try to get around corners just doesn't work sometimes. Um, so we need to get that done so that they can come back and put their cable in and connect in. Or it'll probably be another couple of months wait because they're just that busy. So um, Daniel Lewis, Daniel even, is cutting out the cubs. So I'm putting the drop cubs in for the path. So he's cutting the tar back and getting all that prepped on some way. 
and Scott and Lewis, they're in the back garden of one of the houses, um, just putting a wee bit of drainage in. So, it's all go this morning. Um, we'll head to the yard and we'll get it done. to pick up the ducting um, and there was no way the ducting was fitting in the van because the roll was too big so I had to put it on the trailer but the trailer didn't have any lights because the trailer plug's broken so I had to stop it still on the trailers there get a new plug so I'll just fit that new plug whilst I'm on my tee so at least it's legal for going back to the yard later on.
So this is what we've had to do, is put this duct inside this duct. That's just a stone to hold that still. And rope it, so that you can put the cable in here. Why can't they just put the cable in there? Does make any sense? Anyway, and then that goes up to this box. Which will control the street lighting. for today we've managed to get the, the start of the path in which will just continue up this blue line here we've got our ducts in which run up the side here that's where another lamp post and we've got these curbs in as well so that's us pretty much just ready to get the path all finished off. So that's us finished for today. Um, hope you all enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching. If you could please like and subscribe. And leave any comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.